Hi guys, Russell Ciceroni here from FC Cincinnati. I'm talking with Cincinnati Soccer Talk down at IMG uh, Academy in Florida. And it's great to finally meet you, Russell. Um, just want to kind of get our fans comfortable with uh, who you are and get to know a little bit more about you. So I uh, ask you some questions about yourself uh, and just starting off very simply, you know, where are you most comfortable playing on the pitch? What's your favorite position? Definitely as a winger, uh, whether it be on the right or left side, I'm predominantly right-footed, but uh, I've been, played inverted before. I'm comfortable swinging the ball with my left foot. So definitely as a winger, uh, coaches ask me about playing with a, a number nine or a number 10 attacking mid center forward, but uh, I think winger is my spot. Okay. Yeah, obviously when the coach asks you to do it, you're going to do it. But, nice. but yeah, good, good to know where, where, you, where you feel the sweet spot is for you. Um, and then uh, let's think about you, uh, you know, your soccer from a, a youth all the way up to today. What would you say the most memorable soccer moment you have is? Uh, the most memorable for me is probably uh, in college I scored from 60 yards in double overtime to win the game for my team, which uh, uh, it's talked about a lot. Uh, it went viral on the internet on YouTube, so it, uh, it was a big moment for me. Oh, excellent. So maybe we'll have somebody find that on YouTube and they can, they can get it back yeah. out there again. Um, so 60 yards, that's a heck of a strike. Yeah. Uh, upper left, upper right. Upper, upper right off the crossbar. Off the crossbar. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. And uh, game winner. You can't do any better than that. And then uh, let's, let's uh, from soccer standpoint, obviously, you know, you know, you like soccer, but do you follow any teams outside the United States? Is there any, any teams you have, you've you know, you have a, you're a fan of. Yeah, in the Premier League, I'm a Liverpool supporter. Liverpool. Yeah, we yeah. got a lot of Liverpool fans yeah, on this that, team. I mean, uh, yeah. all the guys, and we meet up for games and stuff yeah. and watch in somebody's apartment, so that's enjoyable to have. Good. Well, we, we've got some supporters in the city as well. I'm sure they'd love to see you guys stop by uh, Molly's or wherever they're meeting right, and, and right. hang out for a, for a game or two if you get the chance. Um, so you, you talked about the guys a little bit, meeting up in apartments and such. So you, you've been here for a little while, like three plus weeks. I don't know if you came in before the preseason or not. But um, you know, have, you, have you got to know any of the guys? Has anybody stood out, maybe just impressed you in some way, uh, not necessarily on the pitch, but, but just somebody who, who just you know, caught your eye, caught your attention? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of guys, a lot of great uh, characters on the team that, uh, that definitely stand out in a crowd. And uh, um, I just it's it's really nice to be a part of a team that uh, mesh well, mesh so well together. I mean, uh, if you were to meet our group for the first time, you wouldn't know who the returning players are and who the newcomers in. We've just uh, we've just uh, grown together so well. But uh, I can't I can't really pick out one in particular. Yeah. But uh, a lot of great guys on the team. It seems to be the recurring theme so far. I mean, everybody just talks about how great this team chemistry is going into the the season. Um, and you know when you when you think about some of the best teams out there, the ones who win championships, um, they always talk about how well the team gets along, that they, they exactly. work and they fight for each other. So yeah. so it's good to hear. Um, what about uh, joking, right? I mean, obviously you, you guys are out here having some serious work that you're trying to do, but there's always got to be that joker who who you know who who has a little fun out there. So who who would you say the joker is? Yeah, I've heard a, I've heard a lot of guys say Manu, which he's a hilarious guy making yeah. jokes on the pitch. But uh, I actually think Mark Village. He's made yeah. he's made a lot of he's made a lot yeah. of jokes that people have like like tears coming to their eyes during training. So the, the, yeah, I think those are the two right now that I'm, we're hearing oh, about yeah? the most. Yeah, yeah for okay. sure. That's the running competition now. Okay. So not that they need to step up their game <laughs> or anything. I, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not suggesting that, Alan. Um, but yeah, definitely hearing from both of them. So, um, and then leadership, right? That's the other the other thing that's important on a team. It's not just about having fun at times and the chemistry, but there's also the the, the voices, uh, the people who who you know. I want to say command respect, but not in effect like demand, right? But they're just the right people that you, you listen to because you know that they're saying the right thing. Who who has been the voices that have, uh, you know, you're hearing that that you say these are these are going to be leaders on this team, or or maybe even somebody who just has made your transition to Cincinnati easier. Yeah, I think uh, a person that stands out for me was uh, Kenny Walker. I mean, he's okay. a, he's a, a little bit more of a veteran guy. I was here last yeah. year, but uh, um, he's he's always uh, has a great voice in the team, and he's like he's leading things like if we want to play 5v2 before the, he's the one that uh, he, he's the one that's setting up putting the cones out getting the vans ready to go for training in the morning so I, I say uh, I mean there's a ton on the team ton of leaders yeah. but uh, for me right now he's he's standing out okay good to hear um, let's talk about Cincinnati a little bit have, have you ever been to Cincinnati before you joined the team no I can't say I have okay and when you when you first came to the city, did you have some thoughts of what Cincinnati was like? Maybe some some preconceived notions. Did anything surprise you when you got here? No, I, I, before coming, I heard a ton of great things. So I was really excited to, to move down here from uh, I'm from Detroit, so I had to yeah. move down from Detroit. Um, but uh, I mean, the city 
from what I've heard and from what I've seen so far, the city has been very, very impressive. Yeah, Midwestern town to a Midwestern town, not, not as big a jump as some people. Um, so you obviously kind of have an idea what the Midwest is. I think right. some people think that we're all just buffaloes and prairies <laughs> out here. But, but, um, but anyway, um, as far as uh, the city, have you, you said you like to explore cities, get yeah, out there. Have you yeah. found any great places, any well, restaurants or shops? Or just, uh, I've just uh, mainly the main places that people like tell you you need to go see. I haven't been to Skyline, though, but uh, uh, I did go to the Eagle in OKR. Okay, yeah, yeah. The fried chicken was unbelievable. Yep. Uh, where else? I went to uh, Kaze in OTR for yep. the sushi. And then I've been to Rheingeist Brewery. Yep. And so I've been OTR. Not that you drank any beer, of course. No, 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 no. never. Yeah. But uh, uh, so I've been in OTR a little bit. And then I, uh, I had dinner one night in the banks at Yard House. Okay, yeah, yeah. great. So, yeah, you've been uh, in various areas of the right. city already, definitely exploring a little bit. Uh, but no Skyline Chili. No, not yet. Okay, so, you know, uh, we always ask about it. So you've now been officially asked. Yeah, I guess we got to get a group of the guys that haven't been. Yeah, it's going to have to happen yeah. at some point. Um, you know, maybe we'll take you down there one night or something if we have to and, and yep. just, you know, buy you guys all chili. But, but you know, it is a requirement if you want to stay in the city. Okay, so, yeah. Just so you know. All right. So it was great talking to you, Russell. Thanks for Appreciate having me. It. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll certainly see you on the pitch and uh, looking forward to uh, – the season. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Yep.